G'day there, I'm Ryan McLeod, this is the uh, CrimSafe Talking Tech and we're going to have a look at our new race car which is the Mark Focus GDC. The car started out uh, as a replacement car for our previous endurance cars that we were running in the uh, Creventic Endurance Series overseas and we raced one of them here at Bathurst to the 12 hour last year which were the Holden Astras. So we wanted a car that was a bit more achievable uh, to own and was a little bit more built purposefully for the job of doing endurance races while we're travelling away. So we wanted a long service life, we wanted very high levels of safety um, and economical to run. As my other job as the uh, Director of Racer Industries, I've got a lot of suppliers and people that uh, have had put a lot of input into this car and so I'll take you around and show you some of the main features. Everyone wants to know what's under the hood. So what we've got here is a Ford Coyote V8 5 litre or 302 engine. It's the latest in the line of Ford modular engines. Uh, they're built in the States. They're imported uh, out here by the uh, Ford Motorsport importers and they're a quad cam aluminium 302 cubic inch uh, engine. These ones put out 500 horsepower. We control them completely, all the quad cams and electric throttle by the latest uh, MoTeC uh, M1 engine management system which we dyno and tune uh, in-house on the Gold Coast of Norwell. Uh, so the engines are largely untouched, we changed pistons and the uh, con rods in there just to get the service mileage of the engine up and the idea of the engine is that it's a 500 horsepower engine that will do two 24 hour races, so roughly 8000 k's before it needs a major teardown. So that's solid mounted in the chassis and you can see there that it's mounted directly to the front bulkhead of the car, so there's no clutch or flywheel or bell housing uh, that uh, is attached to that engine. The engine bolts directly to the chassis in a, in a uh, solid mount and it has a dry sump system which is also made on the Gold Coast by Noonan Race Engineering. We have a fabricated aluminium front clip which incorporates uh, fabricated parts made of Pace Innovations and some of the original road car parts as well. So the original headlights are fixed to the original Ford Focus radiator support panel which are adapted to our plate here. So they're the parts that tie the OE components into our mainstay chassis. The idea of the chassis is that you can put any body over the top that you want. The Ford Focus panels are simply stitched to the outside of the, the chassis. So this car could be a 3 Series BMW or a Holden Cruze simply by changing the external parts. You'll notice You'll notice down here that the front splitter, dive plane, air intake, all of which is connected to the radiator and part of the air intake system and cooling package, will be constant on all the cars. That leads into our front uh, spats or mud guards there, um, and that's all uh, a, a standardised part, no matter what body you chose to run. On these cars, obviously, Ford focuses, but could be what you want. So here we are inside the cockpit of the uh, Ford Focus GDC. Now the seating system is very important in this car because it's designed for endurance racing. You have four drivers and they're all different sizes um, and you need to be able to slide the seat. So this seat features the latest FIA homologation, the same as found in the WRC and the World Endurance Championship and also the V8 supercars. But it's the only one that is uh, incorporated with a Recaro slider system. So the seat has an FIA approved sliding system, which is the only one that's currently approved in the world. So like your road car, the seat slides forward and backwards. It has different size paddings. It raises up as it comes forward. So any different driver can sit in this car and operate it pretty comfortably. So the steering wheel features the latest uh, MoTeC C25, uh, C125 display. You can see it just boots up there. And the buttons on the steering, the buttons on the steering wheel, sorry, are all illuminated, and that's for when we race at night in endurance racing. They're all colour coded, so we know which buttons do which. And at night, you can just see you have to press the blue button to toggle the headlights, or the green buttons for the various indicators, pit speed switch, so on and so forth. And right here next to the driver is the fuel cell. It's it's inside the uh, safety cell of the cabin, so it's not hanging out um, out in the air behind the car. It's in a carbon fibre encasement and it's an FIA FT3 specification cell made by Premier in the UK. 
And then you can see here the gear linkage. The driver has a six speed sequential gearbox in the back, the transaxle, same as found in the latest V8 supercars. Here we are under the car. The uh, transaxle there is by Albans. What you'll notice with this transaxle is that the clutch, bell housing, starter motor, hydraulic release bearing and alternator are all mounted on the front of the transaxle. So if you were to change the engine in this car, fit a turbo diesel engine perhaps, a rotary engine, uh, you know, or a four cylinder turbocharged engine or a different uh, V8 motor, you don't have to change any of those ancillaries. They're all mounted on the back here as part of the drive line. It keeps the weight distribution really, really good and it makes the engine installation much simpler. It's an independent rear suspension. We've got rocker suspension system here with the dampers mounted in the boot. A pair of drive shafts, some uprights, which are the same on every corner of the car. They're made at our workshop on the Gold Coast, designed by Pace Innovations. So in the boot here, obviously no room for the shopping anymore. Uh, we've got the dampers mounted there. The dampers are uh, made by Murray Coote from uh, in MCA Suspension. They're a brand new damper that he's made, especially for this, for endurance cars. Uh, they're an aluminium housing and they're a four-way adjustable unit and they're a really, really fine damper. Uh, we have here the cooler. The car shares the same cooler for the transaxle, same style of cooler for the transaxle as it does up the front for the engine oil cooler, so it minimises your uh, requirement for spares. And we duct the air into that from the rear windows. Uh, Mainly in the rear windows there's some ducts, so it has forced air feeding over it all the time from the speed of the car. So keeps the transaxle cool. And then our big wing mounts with our distinctive uh, dovetailed wing, wing design here. The wing is actually made in the UK um, and it's a full CFD design wings found on many sports cars in Europe and it's mounted through these big aluminium spars which bolt directly to the chassis. At the rear you'll see there's a deformable crash structure here. Down here this section of bars which is replaceable and then that, that uh, bolts to the original Ford Focus panels which hold the factory bumper bar and the original uh, head, uh, tail lights on there. So then the last thing is, is the body. So the Ford Focus is probably the most successful world car that's around. It's available in all corners of the globe. It's manufactured in many different manufacturing plants. Um, and there's a lot of work gone into the design of the body. This body fits straight over our chassis. So you'll see the side skirts there are a control part. So they would be the same on all cars. The exhaust exit forms part of the side skirts. The side skirts also bolt to the uh, rear mudguard flares, same as the front, and they form part of the side crash structure as well. This is a very strong aluminum folded and welded section that fold, that's, uh, is part of the side impact structure of the car. You can see here that the car also has a very, very strong side, in side intrusion system, which is the roll cage and the rollover construction of the car We've, all, we've had that independently tested and FIA certified. We have our own homologation for those components. That's the new Mark Focus GDC car. It's a car which is made to be able to be raced competitively and affordably in many different markets around the world. The best part about it is it showcases some of the fantastic technology, talent and depth of industry that we have here in the Australian motorsport manufacturing segment. Buying security screens? Most CrimSafe lookalikes can pop out in just a few seconds, but the real CrimSafe doesn't, thanks to its patented screw clamp. Cheap lookalikes can pop out because they're only held in with a piece of plastic. But CrimSafe screw clamp locks the mesh and spreads the impact. CrimSafe resists attack and corrosion and now has the ultimate warranty, 15 years. Ask for a demonstration today, because if it's not CrimSafe, it's not CrimSafe.